Michael Andrew Fox O.C., born June 9, 1961, known professionally as Michael J. Fox, is a Canadian-American retired actor. Beginning his career in the 1970s, he rose to prominence portraying Alex P. Keaton on the NBC sitcom Family Ties, 1982-1989. Fox is famous for his role as protagonist Marty McFly in the Back to the Future film trilogy. 1985 to 1990, a critical and commercial success. He went on to headline several films throughout the 1980s and 90s, including Teen Wolf, 1985, The Secret of My Success, 1987, Casualties of War, 1989, Doc Hollywood, 1991, and The Frighteners, 1996. Fox returned to television on the ABC sitcom Spin City in the lead role of Mike Flaherty from 1996 to 2000. In 1998, Fox disclosed his 1991 diagnosis of Parkinson's disease. He subsequently became an advocate for finding a cure and founded the Michael J. Fox Foundation in 2000 to help fund research. Worsening symptoms forced Fox to reduce his activities and led to his return to television in Spin City when he was still a major movie star. He continued to make guest appearances on television, including recurring roles on the FX comedy drama Rescue Me, 2009, and the CBS legal drama The Good Wife, 2010-2016, that garnered him critical acclaim. He voiced the lead roles in the Stuart Little films, 1999-2005, and the animated film Atlantis, The Lost Empire, 2001. His final major role was on the NBC sitcom The Michael J. Fox Show, 2013-2014. Fox retired in 2020 due to his declining health. 2. Fox won five Primetime Emmy Awards, four Golden Globe Awards, two Screen Actors Guild Awards, and a Grammy Award. He was also appointed an Officer of the Order of Canada in 2010, along with being inducted to Canada's Walk of Fame in 2000 and the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2002. For his advocacy of a cure for Parkinson's disease, he received an honorary doctorate in 2010 from the Karolinska Institute and an honorary Oscar in 2022. Early Life Michael Andrew Fox was born in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada on June 9, 1961, 3, the son of William and Phyllis 4, Nay Piper. 5, William was a 25-year veteran of the Canadian Forces who later became a police dispatcher, 6, 7, while Phyllis was a payroll clerk and actress. 6, 7, Fox is of Irish, English, and Scottish descent. Citation needed. His maternal grandmother was from Belfast, Northern Ireland. 8. His family lived in various cities and towns across Canada due to his father's career. 9. They finally moved to Burnaby, a large suburb of Vancouver, when his father retired in 1971. His father died of a heart attack on January 6, 1990. 10. His mother later died in September 2022. 11. Fox attended Burnaby Central Secondary School, and now has a theater named for him at Burnaby South Secondary. 12. At age 15, Fox starred in the Canadian television series Leo and Me, produced by the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, and in 1979, at age 18, he moved to Los Angeles to further his acting career. 13. Shortly after his marriage, he moved back to Vancouver. 14. Fox was discovered by producer Ronald Shedlow and made his American television debut in the television film Letters from Frank, credited under the name Michael Fox. He intended to continue to use the name, but when he registered with the Screen Actors Guild, which requires unique registration names to avoid credit ambiguities, and the possibility that royalty checks would be sent to the wrong actors, he discovered that Michael Fox, a veteran character actor, was already registered under the name. 15. As he explained in his autobiography Lucky Man, a memoir and in interviews, he needed to come up with a different name. 
He did not like the sound of Michael A. Fox during a time when Fox meant attractive and because his a sounded too much like the Canadian A. Fox also disliked the sound of Andrew or Andy, so he decided to use a different middle initial and settled on J, as a tribute to actor Michael J. Pollard. 10. Acting Career Early Career Fox's first feature film roles were Midnight Madness, 1980, and Class of 1984, 1982, credited in both as Michael Fox. Shortly afterward, he began playing young Republican Alex P. Keaton in the show Family Ties, which aired on NBC for seven seasons from 1982 to 1989. In an interview with Jimmy Fallon in April 2014, Fox stated he negotiated the role at a payphone at Pioneer Chicken. He received the role only after Matthew Broderick was unavailable. 16. Family Ties had been sold to the television network using the pitch hip parents, Square Kids, 16, with the parents originally intended to be the main characters. However, the positive reaction to Fox's performance led to his character becoming the focus of the show following the fourth episode. 16. At its peak, the audience for Family Ties drew one-third of America's households every week. Citation Needed Fox won three Emmy Awards for Family Ties in 1986, 1987, and 1988. 17. He won a Golden Globe Award in 1989. 18. Brandon Tartikoff, one of the show's producers, felt that Fox was too short in relation to the actors playing his parents, and tried to have him replaced. Tartikoff reportedly said that this is not the kind of face you'll ever find on the lunchbox. After his later successes, Fox presented Tartikoff with a custom-made lunchbox with the inscription to Brandon, This is for you to put your crow in. Love and Kisses, Michael J. Tartikoff kept the lunchbox in his office for the rest of his NBC career. 1920 When Fox left the television series Spin City in 2000, his final episodes made numerous allusions to family ties. Michael Gross, who played Alex's father Stephen, portrays Mike Flaherty's, Fox's character's, therapist, 21, and there is a reference to an off screen character named Mallory. 22, also, when Flaherty becomes an environmental lobbyist in Washington, D.C., he meets a conservative senator from Ohio named Alex P. Keaton, 23, and in one episode Meredith Baxter played Mike's mother. 24. As a result of working on Family Ties, as well as his acting in Teen Wolf and Back to the Future, Fox became a teen idol. The VH1 television series The Greatest later named him among their 50 Greatest Teen Idols. 25. Film Career Fox at the 40th Primetime Emmy Awards in August 1988 In January 1985, Fox was cast to replace Eric Stoltz as Marty McFly, a teenager who is accidentally sent back in time from 1985 to 1955 in Back to the Future. Director Robert Zemeckis originally wanted Fox to play Marty, but Gary David Goldberg the creator of Family Ties, on which Fox was working at the time, refused to allow Zemeckis even to approach Fox as he felt that as Meredith Baxter was on maternity leave at the time, Fox's character Alex Keaton was needed to carry the show in her absence. Stoltz was cast and was already filming Back to the Future. But Zemeckis felt that Stoltz was not giving the right type of performance for the humor involved. 26. Zemeckis quickly replaced Stoltz with Fox, whose schedule was now more open with the return of Baxter. During filming, Fox rehearsed for family ties from 10A.M to 6P.M, then rushed to the Back to the Future set where he would rehearse and shoot until 2.30 a.m. This schedule lasted for two full months. Back to the Future was both a commercial and critical success. The film spent eight consecutive weekends as the number one grossing movie at the U.S. box office in 1985, and eventually earned a worldwide total of $381.11 million. 27. Variety applauded the performances, 
opining that Fox and his co-star Christopher Lloyd imbued Marty and Doc Brown's friendship with a quality reminiscent of King Arthur and Merlin. 28. The film was followed by two successful sequels, Back to the Future Part 2, 1989, and Back to the Future Part 3, 1990, which were produced at the same time but released separately. 29. Fox at the 39th Primetime Emmy Awards in September 1987 During and immediately after the Back to the Future trilogy, Fox starred in Teen Wolf, 1985, Light of Day, 1987, The Secret of My Success, 1987, Bright Lights, Big City, 1988, and Casualties of War, 1989. In The Secret of My Success, Fox played a recent graduate from Kansas State University who moves to New York City, where he deals with the ups and downs of the business world. The film was successful at the box office, grossing $110 million worldwide. 30. Roger Ebert in the Chicago Sun-Times wrote, Fox provides a fairly desperate center for the film. It could not have been much fun for him to follow the movie's arbitrary shifts of mood, from sitcom to slapstick from sex farce to boardroom brawls. 31. In Bright Lights, Big City, Fox played a fact-checker for a New York magazine, who spends his nights partying with alcohol and drugs. The film received mixed reviews, with Hal Henson in The Washington Post criticizing Fox by claiming that he was the wrong actor for the job. 32. Meanwhile, Roger Ebert praised the actor's performance. Fox is very good in the central role, he has a long drunken monologue that is the best thing he has ever done in a movie. 33. During the shooting of Bright Lights, Big City, Fox co-starred again with Tracy Pollan, his on-screen girlfriend from Family Ties. 34. Fox then starred in Casualties of War, a dark and violent war drama about the Vietnam War alongside Sean Pennsylvania Casualties of War was not a major box office hit, but Fox, playing a private serving in Vietnam, was praised for his performance. Don Wilmot wrote, Fox, only one year beyond his family ties sitcom silliness, rises to the challenges of acting as the film's moral voice and sharing scenes with the always intimidating Pennsylvania. 35. While Family Ties is ending, his production company Snowback Productions set up a two-year production pact at Paramount Pictures to develop film and television projects. 36. In 1991, he starred in Doc Hollywood, a romantic comedy about a talented medical doctor who decides to become a plastic surgeon. While moving from Washington, D.C., to Los Angeles, he winds up as a doctor in a small southern town in South Carolina. Michael Catton Jones of Time Out, described Fox in the film as at his frenetic best. 37. The Hard Way was also released in 1991, with Fox playing an undercover actor learning from police officer James Woods after being privately diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 1991 and being cautioned he had 10 good working years left. 6. Fox hastily signed a three-film contract, citation needed, appearing in For Love or Money. 1993, Life with Mikey, 1993, and Greedy, 1994. The mid-1990s saw Fox play smaller supporting roles in The American President, 1995, and Mars Attacks, 1996. His last major film role was in The Frighteners, 1996, directed by Peter Jackson. The Frighteners tells the story of Frank Bannister, Fox an architect who develops psychic abilities allowing him to see, hear, and communicate with ghosts. After losing his wife, he uses his new abilities by cheating customers out of money for his ghost hunting business. However, a mass murderer comes back from hell, prompting Frank to investigate the supernatural presence. Fox's performance received critical praise, Kenneth Duran in the Los Angeles Times wrote, the film's actors are equally pleasing. Both Fox, in his most successful starring role in some time, and, Trini, Alvarado, who looks rather like Andy McDowell here, have no difficulty getting into the manic spirit of things. 38. 
He voiced the American Bulldog Chance in Disney's live-action film Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey and its sequel Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco, the titular character in Stuart Little and its two sequels Stuart Little 2 and Stuart Little 3, Call of the Wild, and Milo Thatch in Disney's animated film Atlantis, The Lost Empire. 39. Later Career and Retirement Handprints of Fox in Front of the Great Movie Ride at Disney's Hollywood Studios Theme Park Spin City ran from 1996 to 2002 on American television network ABC. The show was based on a fictional local government running New York City, originally starring Fox as Mike Flaherty, a Fordham Law School graduate serving as the deputy mayor of New York. 40. Fox won an Emmy Award for Spin City in 2000. 17, three Golden Globe Awards in 1998, 1999, and 2000, 18, and two Screen Actors Guild Awards in 1999 and 2000. 4. During the third season of Spin City, Fox made the announcement to the cast and crew of the show that he had Parkinson's disease. During the fourth season, he announced his retirement from the show. 41. He announced that he planned to continue to act and would make guest appearances on Spin City, he made three more appearances on the show during the final season. After leaving the show, he was replaced by Charlie Sheen, who portrayed the character Charlie Crawford. 42. In 2002, his Lottery Hill Entertainment production company attempted to set up a pilot for ABC with DreamWorks Television and Touchstone Television Company via First Look Agreements but it never went to series. 43-44 In 2004, Fox guest starred in two episodes of the comedy drama Scrubs as Dr. Kevin Casey, a surgeon with severe obsessive-compulsive disorder. 45-46 The series was created by Spin City creator Bill Lawrence. 45 In 2006, he appeared in four episodes of Boston Legal as a lung cancer patient. The producers brought him back in a recurring role for season 3, beginning with the season premiere. Fox was nominated for an Emmy Award for Best Guest Appearance. 17. Fox Speaking at Lotus Fair 2012 In 2009, Fox appeared in five episodes of the television series Rescue Me which earned him an Emmy for Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series. 17. Starting in 2010, Fox played a recurring role in the U.S. drama The Good Wife as crafty attorney Louis Canning and earned Demi nominations for three consecutive years. 47. In 2011, Fox was featured as himself in the eighth season of the Larry David vehicle Curb Your Enthusiasm. David's character, also himself, becomes a temporary resident of the New York City apartment building that Fox resides in and a conflict arises between the two whereby David believes that Fox is using his condition, Parkinson's disease, as a manipulative tool. Fox returned in 2017 for a brief appearance, referencing his prior time on the show. 48-49 On August 20, 2012, NBC announced the Michael J. Fox show, loosely based on Fox's life. Fox starred in the show. It was granted a 22-episode commitment from the network and premiered on NBC on September 26, 2013. 50. The show was taken off the air after 15 episodes and was later cancelled. 51. Fox has made several appearances in other media. At the 2010 Winter Olympics closing ceremony in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, he delivered comedy monologues along with William Shatner and Catherine O'Hara, in the I Am Canadian part of the show. 52. Despite a sound-alike, A.J. Lacasio, voicing his character of Marty McFly in the 2011 Back to the Future episodic adventure game, Fox lent his likeness to the in-game version of Marty alongside Christopher Lloyd. Fox made a special guest appearance in the final episode of the series as an elder version of Marty as well as his great-grandfather Willie McFly. 53. In 2018, Fox was cast in the recurring role of Ethan West on the second season of the ABC political drama Designated Survivor. 
54, Fox appeared in five episodes of the show. 55, his character was described as a Washington attorney with significant connections and a history of great success. 56, who was hired to investigate whether the President of the United States was fit to continue in his position. 55. In 2020, Fox retired from acting due to the increasing unreliability of his speech. 6. Fox's memoir, No Time Like the Future, An Optimist Considers Mortality, was released that November. In the book, Fox explained that, not being able to speak reliably is a game-breaker for an actor and that he was experiencing memory loss. Fox wrote, There is a time for everything, and my time of putting in a 12-hour workday, and memorizing seven pages of dialogue, is best behind me. I enter a second retirement. That could change, because everything changes. But if this is the end of my acting career, so be it. 2. In 2021, Fox appeared in one episode of the television series Expedition, Back to the Future and in the animated film Back Home Again. Citation needed. Other work. Fox served as an executive producer of Spin City alongside co-creators Bill Lawrence and Gary David Goldberg. 42. Fox has authored four books, Lucky Man, a memoir, 2002, Always Looking Up. The Adventures of an Incurable Optimist, 2009, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Future, Twists and Turns and Lessons Learned, 2010, and No Time Like the Future, An Optimist Considers Mortality, 2020. 57. Personal Life Fox with Tracy Pollan at the 40th Primetime Emmy Awards 58, in August 1988 shortly after they were married. Fox met his wife, Tracy Pollan, when she played the role of his girlfriend, Ellen, on Family Ties. 6. They were married on July 16, 1988, at West Mountain Inn in Arlington, Vermont. 59. The couple have four children, son Sam Michael, born May 30, 1989. 60. Twin daughters Aquina Kathleen and Skylar Francis, born February 15, 1995. 61, and daughter as Manabel, born November 3, 2001. 62, Fox holds dual Canadian-U.S. citizenship. 63, he provided a light-hearted segment during the 2010 Winter Olympics closing ceremony in Vancouver, British Columbia on February 28, 2010, when he expressed how proud he is to be Canadian. 52, on June 4, 2010, the city of Burnaby, British Columbia granted him the freedom of the city. 12. Fox and his family live primarily in Manhattan. 64. The family owns a second home in Quogue, New York. 65. Fox battled alcoholism during the onset of his Parkinson's diagnosis, but has been sober since 1992. 66-67. Parkinson's disease. Fox started displaying symptoms of early-onset Parkinson's disease in 1991 while shooting the movie Doc Hollywood, and was diagnosed shortly thereafter. 41, though his initial symptoms were only a twitching little finger and a sore shoulder, he was told that within a few years he would not be able to work. 68, the causes of Parkinson's disease are not well understood, and may include genetic and environmental factors. Fox is one of at least four members of the cast and crew of Leo and Me who developed early onset Parkinson's. According to Fox, this is not enough people to be defined as a cluster so has not been well researched. 68, he told Hadley Freeman of The Guardian in late 2020, I can think of a thousand possible scenarios, I used to go fishing in a river near paper mills and eat the salmon I caught, I've been to a lot of farms. I smoked a lot of pot in high school when the government was poisoning the crops. But you can drive yourself crazy trying to figure it out. 68. Fox and Muhammad Ali in 2002 testifying before a Senate committee on providing government funding to combat Parkinson's. After his diagnosis, Fox started drinking heavily and grew depressed. 69. He eventually sought help and stopped drinking altogether. 70. 
In 1998, he went public about his Parkinson's disease, and has become a strong advocate of Parkinson's disease research. His foundation, the Michael J. Fox Foundation, was created to help advance every promising research path to curing Parkinson's disease. 64. Since 2010, he has led a $100 million effort, which is the foundation's a landmark observational study, to discover the biological markers of Parkinson's disease with the Parkinson's Progression Markers Initiative, PPMI. 71. Fox manages the symptoms of his Parkinson's disease with the drug Carbidopa slash Levodopa, 72, and he had a thalamotomy in 1998. 73. His first book, Lucky Man, focused on how, after seven years of denial of the disease, he set up the Michael J. Fox Foundation, stopped drinking and became an advocate for people living with Parkinson's disease. 74. In Lucky Man, Fox wrote that he did not take his medication prior to his testimony before the Senate Appropriations Subcommittee in 1999, partial C-SPAN video clip. 75. I had made a deliberate choice to appear before the subcommittee without medication. It seemed to me that this occasion demanded that my testimony about the effects of the disease, and the urgency we as a community were feeling, be seen as well as heard. For people who had never observed me in this kind of shape, the transformation must have been startling. 4. In an interview with NPR in April 2002, 72. Fox explained what he does when he becomes symptomatic. Well, actually, I've been erring on the side of caution, I think erring is actually the right word, in that I've been medicating perhaps too much, in the sense, that, the symptoms, people see in some of these interviews that, I, have been on are actually dyskinesia, which is a reaction to the medication. Because if I were purely symptomatic with Parkinson's symptoms, a lot of times speaking is difficult. There's a kind of a cluttering of speech and it's very difficult to sit still, to sit in one place. You know, the symptoms are different, so I'd rather kind of suffer the symptoms of dyskinesia, this kind of weaving and this kind of continuous thing is much preferable, actually, than pure Parkinson's symptoms. So that's what I generally do, I haven't had any, you know, problems with pure Parkinson's symptoms in any of these interviews, because I'll tend to just make sure that I have enough signment in my system and, in some cases, too much. But to me, it's preferable. It's not representative of what I'm like in my everyday life. I get a lot of people with Parkinson's coming up to me saying, you take too much medication. I say, well, you sit across from Larry King and see if you want to tempt it. Interview, April 30, 2002, Fresh Air, NPR In 2006, Fox starred in a campaign ad for then-state auditor of Missouri Claire McCaskill in her successful 2006 Senate campaign against incumbent Jim Talent, expressing her support for embryonic stem cell research. In the ad, he visibly showed the effects of his Parkinson's disease. As you might know, I care deeply about stem cell research. In Missouri, you can elect Claire McCaskill, who shares my hope for cures. Unfortunately, Senator Jim Talent opposes expanding stem cell research. Senator Talent even wanted to criminalize the science that gives us the chance for hope. They say all politics is local, but that's not always the case. What you do in Missouri matters to millions of Americans, Americans like me. Michael J. Fox Campaign Advertisement for Claire McCaskill 7677 The Michael J. Fox Theater at Burnaby South Secondary School The New York Times called it one of the most powerful and talked about political advertisements in years and polls indicated that the commercial had a measurable impact on the way voters voted, in an election that McCaskill won. 78, his second book, Always Looking Up, The Adventures of an Incurable Optimist describes his life between 1999 and 2009, with much of the book centered on how Fox got into campaigning for stem cell research. 74, on March 31, 2009, Fox appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show with Mehmet Oz to discuss his condition as well as his book, his family and his primetime special, 
which aired May 7, 2009, Michael J. Fox, Adventures of an Incurable Optimist. 79. His work led him to be named one of the 100 people whose power, talent or moral example is transforming the world in 2007 by Time magazine. 80. On March 5, 2010, Fox received an honorary doctorate in medicine from Karolinska Institute for his contributions to research in Parkinson's disease. 8182. He received an honorary doctorate of laws from the University of British Columbia. 83. On May 31, 2012, he received an honorary degree of Doctor of Laws from the Justice Institute of British Columbia 84, to recognize his accomplishments as a performer as well as his commitment to raising research funding and awareness for Parkinson's disease. Fox recalled performing in role-playing simulations as part of police recruit training exercises at the Institute early in his career. In 2016, his organization, the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research, created a raffle to raise awareness for Parkinson's disease and raised $6.75 million, with the help of Nike via two auctions, one in Hong Kong and the other in London. 85. At the 2022 Governor's Awards, Fox was awarded the Jean Hirschhalt Humanitarian Award for his efforts in fighting Parkinson's having raised over $1 billion for research. 86-87, the award was presented by friend Woody Harrelson. Filmography Film Year title functioned as notes refs. Actor-producer role 1980 Midnight Madness Yes No Scott Larson 1982 Class of 1984 Yes No Arthur 1985 Back to the Future Yes No Marty McFly Teen Wolf Yes No Scott Howard 1987 Light of Day Yes No Joe Rusnick The Secret of My Success Yes No Brantley Foster, Carlton Whitfield 1988 Bright Lights, Big City Yes No Jamie Conway 1989 Casualties of War Yes No Private First Class Max Erickson Back to the Future Part 2 Yes No Marty McFly, Marty McFly Jr. Marlene McFly 1990 Back to the Future Part 3 Yes No Marty McFly, Seamus McFly 1991 The Hard Way Yes No Nick Nicky Lang Doc Hollywood Yes No Dr. Benjamin Ben Stone 1993 Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey Yes No Chance, Narrator Voice Life with Mikey Yes No Michael Mikey Chapman For Love or Money Yes No Doug Ireland 1994 Where the River's Flown North Yes No Clayton Farnsworth Greedy Yes No Daniel Danny McTeague Jr. 1995 Cold-Blooded Yes Yes Tim Alexander Blue in the Face Yes No Pete Maloney The American President Yes No Lewis Rothschild 1996 Homeward Bound 2, Lost in San Francisco Yes No Chance Voice The Frighteners Yes No Frank Bannister Mars Attacks. Yes No Jason Stone. 1999 Stuart Little Yes No Stuart Little Voice. 2001 Atlantis, The Lost Empire Yes No Milo James That Voice. 2002 Interstate 60 Yes No Mr. Baker Cameo. Stuart Little 2 Yes No Stuart Little Voice. 2005 Stuart Little 3, Call of the Wild Yes No Voice, Direct a Video. 2013 Drew, the man behind the poster Yes No himself documentary. 2014 Annie Yes No cameo. 2015 Being Canadian Yes No documentary. Back in Time Yes No documentary, 88. Mr. Calzig Yes No documentary. 2016 A.R.C.H. That is Yes No A.R.C.H. That is Voice. 2018 A.R.C.H. That is 2, Mission Impossible Yes No. 2019 See You Yesterday Yes No Mr. Lockhart Cameo. 2021 Back Home Again Yes No Michael J. Bird Voice, Final Role. 2023 Still, a Michael J. Fox Movie Yes No Himself Documentary. Television.
year title functioned as notes refs. Actor director producer role. 1978 The Magic La Yes No No Nikki episode, The Master. Leo and Me Yes No No Jamie Romano 12 episodes. Which of Westminster Crossing Yes No No Harley Television short film. 1979 Letters from Frank Yes No No Ricky Television film. Lou Grant Yes No No Paul Stone episode, Kids. 1980 Family Yes No No Richard Topol episode, Such a Fine Line. Here's Boomer Yes No No Jackie episode, Tell Him Boomer Sent You. Trapper John, MD Yes No No Elliot Schweitzer episode, Brain Child. 1980-1981 Palmerstown, USA Yes No No Willie Joe Hall 11 episodes. 1982 Teachers Only Yes No No Jeff episode, The Makeup Test. 1982-1989 Family Ties Yes No No Alex P. Keaton 176 episodes. 1983 The Love Boat Yes No No Jimmy episode, He Ate Heavy. High School USA Yes No No J.J. Manners Television Film 1983-1984 The $25,000 Pyramid Yes No No Himself 30 Episodes 1984 Night Court Yes No No Eddie Sims Episode, Santa Goes Downtown The Homemade Comedy Special Yes No No Host Television Special Don't Ask Me, Ask God Yes No No Future Son Television Special 1985 Family Ties Vacation Yes No No Alex P. Keaton Television Film Poison Ivy Yes No No Dennis Baxter Television Film 1986 David Letterman's Second Annual Holiday Film Festival Yes Yes No Himself Short Film, Segment, The Iceman Hummeth, Also Writer 1987 Dear America Letters Home from Vietnam Yes No No Private First Class Raymond Griffith's Voice Documentary The Return of Bruno Yes No No Himself Television Documentary Film Muppet Babies Yes No No Alex P. Keaton Voice, Episode, This Little Piggy Went to Hollywood 1996, Buys, and Advertising Yes No No Himself Television Special 1991 Saturday Night Live Yes No No Host Episode, Michael J. Fox, The Black Crows Tales from the Crypt Yes Yes No Prosecutor Episode, The Trap 1992 Brooklyn Bridge No Yes No Episode, Rainy Day Shelley Duvall's Bedtime Stories Yes No No Narrator Episode, There's a Nightmare in My Closet 1994 Don't Drink the Water Yes No No Axel McGee Television Film 1996-2001 Spin City Yes No Executive Mike Flaherty 103 Episodes 1997 The Chris Rock Show Yes No No Himself Episode, Jesse Jackson, Rakem, Uncredited 1999 Anna Says No No Executive 2002 Otherwise Engaged No No Executive Pilot Episode Clone High Yes No No Gandhi's Remaining Kidney Voice, Episode Escape to Beer Mountain, A Rope of Sand 2003 Hench at Home No No Executive Also Writer 2004 Scrubs Yes No No Dr. Kevin Casey 2 Episodes 2005 Saving Millie Yes No No Himself Television Film, Uncredited 2006 Boston Legal Yes No No Daniel Post 6 Episodes 2009 Rescue Me Yes No No Dwight 5 Episodes the Magic 7 Yes No No Marcel Maggot Voice, Television Film 2010-2016 The Good Wife Yes No No Louis Canning 26 Episodes 2011 Phineas and Ferb Yes No No Michael, Werewolf Voice, Episode, The Curse of Candace 2011, 2017 Curb Your Enthusiasm Yes No No Himself 2 Episodes 2013 to 2014 The Michael J. Fox Show Yes No Executive Mike Henry 22 Episodes 2015 Jimmy Kimmel Live Yes No No Marty McFly Skit Celebrating Back to the Future 89 2016 Nightcap Yes No No Himself Episode The Canon 2018 Designated Survivor Yes No No Ethan West 5 Episodes 54
2019 Corner Gas Animated Yes No No Himself Voice, Episode, Dream Waver. 2020 The Good Fight Yes No No Louis Canning 2 Episodes. 2021 Expedition, Back to the Future Yes No No Himself Episode, Great Josh. Video Games. Year Title Voice Roll Notes. 2011 Back to the Future, The Game William McFly, Future Marty McFly Episode. Out a time. 2015 Lego Dimensions Marty McFly. Web. Year title roll notes. 2020 The Origins of Holiday, Lil Nas X Song Trailer, Marty McFly. Awards and nominations. Fox's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame for Motion Picture, 7021 Hollywood Boulevard. Honors. 2000. Honored by the Family Television Awards for Acting. 2000, inducted into Canada's Walk of Fame, located in Toronto, Ontario, which acknowledges the achievements and accomplishments of successful Canadians. 90. December 16, 2002, received the 2209th star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in recognition of his contributions to the motion picture industry, presented to him by the Chamber of Commerce. 91. 2005, received the Golden Plate Award of the American Academy of Achievement. 92-93. 2011, honored with the Golden Camera Award for Lifetime Achievement, International. 2010, appointed Officer of the Order of Canada, the Officer O.C. recognizes national service or achievement. 94. 2010, received the National Association of Broadcasters Distinguished Service Award. 95. 2013, honored with the Golden Apple Award by the Casting Society of America. 2021, Doctor of Fine Arts, Honoris Causa, from Simon Fraser University. 96. 2022, received the Jean Hirschholt Humanitarian Award from 95th Academy Awards 97. 2022, at the Governor's Awards Ceremony in Los Angeles, Michael J. Fox was awarded an honorary Oscar for his contribution to the fight against Parkinson's disease. 98. Accolades. Organization's Year Category Work Result. Academy Awards 2023 Jean Hirschholt Humanitarian Award Honored. Afton Blade at TV Prize Awards 2001 Best Foreign Television Personality, Male Spin City 1. American Comedy Awards 1996 Funniest Supporting Actor in a Motion Picture The American President Nominated. 1999 Funniest Male Performer in a Television Series Spin City Nominated. 2000 Funniest Male Performer in a Television Series Spin City Nominated. Bravo Auto Awards 1985 Best Actor Family Ties 1 Critics' Choice Television Awards 2016 Best Guest Performer in a Drama Series The Good Wife Nominated Gold Derby Awards 2004 Comedy Guest Actor Scrubs Nominated 2006 Drama Supporting Actor Boston Legal Nominated 2009 Drama Guest Actor Rescue Me Nominated 2012 Comedy Guest Actor Curb Your Enthusiasm Nominated 2012 Drama Guest Actor The Good Wife Nominated 2013 Drama Guest Actor The Good Wife Nominated 2015 Drama Guest Actor The Good Wife Won Golden Globe Awards 1986 Best Actor in a Television Series, Comedy or Musical Family Ties Nominated 1986 Best Actor in a Motion Picture, Comedy or Musical Back to the Future Nominated 1987 Best Actor in a Television Series, Comedy or Musical Family Ties Nominated 1988 Best Actor in a Television Series, Comedy or Musical Family Ties Nominated 1989 Best Actor in a Television Series, Comedy or Musical Family Ties Won 1997 Best Actor in a Television Series, Comedy or Musical Spin City Nominated 1998 Best Actor in a Television Series, Comedy or Musical Spin City Won
1999 Best Actor in a Television Series, Comedy or Musical Spin City 1 2000 Best Actor in a Television Series, Comedy or Musical Spin City 1 2014 Best Actor in a Television Series, Comedy or Musical The Michael J. Fox Show Nominated Grammy Awards 2010 Best Spoken Word Album Always Looking Up 1 Jupiter Awards 1985 Best International Actor Back to the Future 1 Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards 1988 Favorite Television Actor Family Ties 1 1989 Favorite Television Actor Family Ties Nominated 1990 Favorite Movie Actor Back to the Future Part 2 1 1997 Favorite Television Actor Spin City Nominated 2000 Favorite Television Actor Spin City Nominated 2000 Favorite Voice from an Animated Movie Stuart Little Nominated People's Choice Awards 1986 Favorite Male Television Performer Family Ties Nominated 1987 Favorite Male Television Performer Family Ties Nominated 1988 Favorite Male Television Performer Family Ties Nominated 1989 Favorite Male Television Performer Family Ties Nominated 1997 Favorite Male Television Performer in a New Series Spin City 1 1997 Favorite Male Television Performer Spin City Nominated 1998 Favorite Male Television Performer Spin City Nominated 1999 Favorite Male Television Performer Spin City Nominated 2012 Favorite Television Guest Star The Good Wife Nominated 2014 Favorite Actor in a New Television Series The Michael J. Fox Show Nominated Primetime Emmy Awards 1985 Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series Family Ties Nominated 1986 Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series Family Ties 1 1987 Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series Family Ties 1 1988 Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series Family Ties 1 1989 Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series Family Ties Nominated 1997 Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series Spin City Nominated 1998 Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series Spin City Nominated 1999 Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series Spin City Nominated 2000 Outstanding Lead Actor in a Comedy Series Spin City 1 2006 Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series Boston Legal Nominated 2009 Outstanding Non-Fiction Special Michael J. Fox, Adventures of an Incurable Optimist Nominated 2009 Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series Rescue Me 1 2011 Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series The Good Wife Nominated 2012 Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series The Good Wife Nominated 2012 Outstanding Guest Actor in a Comedy Series Curb Your Enthusiasm Nominated 2013 Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series The Good Wife Nominated 2015 Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series The Good Wife Nominated 2016 Outstanding Guest Actor in a Drama Series The Good Wife Nominated Satellite Awards 1997 Best Actor in a Series, Comedy or Musical Spin City Nominated 1998 Best Actor in a Series, Comedy or Musical Spin City Nominated 1999 Best Actor in a Series, Comedy or Musical Spin City Nominated Saturn Awards 1986 Best Actor Back to the Future 1 1997 Best Actor The Frighteners Nominated Screen Actors Guild Awards 1999 Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Comedy Series Spin City 1 2000 Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Comedy Series Spin City 1 TV Guide Awards 1999 Favorite Actor in a Comedy Spin City Nominated 2000 Favorite Actor in a Comedy Spin City Nominated TV Land Awards 2007 Breakup That Was So Bad It Was Good, Shared with Courtney Cox, Family Ties Nominated 
2008 character you'd pay to do your homework for you Family Ties 1. Viewers for Quality Television Awards 1986 Best Supporting Actor in a Quality Comedy Series Family Ties 1. 1987 Best Actor in a Quality Comedy Series Family Ties 1. Notes. Fox retired from acting in 2021, but remains active as an activist. Books. Fox, Michael J. 2002. Lucky Man, a memoir. New York, Hyperion. ISBN 978-0-7868-6764-6. Michael J. Fox. Fox, Michael J. 2009. Always Looking Up, The Adventures of an Incurable Optimist. New York, Hyperion. ISBN 978-14013033-89. Michael J. Fox. Fox, Michael J. 2010. A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Future, Twists and Turns and Lessons Learned. New York, Hyperion. ISBN 978-1-4013-2386-8. Michael J. Fox. Fox, Michael J. 2020. No Time Like the Future, An Optimist Considers Mortality. New York, Flatiron Books. ISBN 978-1-2502-6561-6. Michael J. Fox.